rose from the grain, new year will rise up again. Hello, so today we have come to beautiful Cardiff. It is the hottest day of the year, so it's going to be a gorgeous day. And we've come to the Wales Millennium Centre to see War Horse. Um, which is arriving at the Hippodrome this autumn. So we're very excited, we're going to be catching the show, we're going to be meeting two of the cast members who have a Birmingham connection. We're going to take you along and show you what it's like. So now I'm here with Tom and Lewis from Warhorse. Can you tell me a little bit about kind of your parts in the show? Uh, so yes, I'm Tom Quinn, I'm the head puppeteer of uh, both Joey and Tom Quinn. And I'm Lewis Howard and I'm the heart puppeteer of Just Joey. And so what does that kind of involve, like for people that might not have seen the show, obviously, you know, the horse is a puppet and it's made of various people moving around, like how does it kind of work? Um, so there is a, um, so there are three, three puppeteers um, that sort of make the horses come alive. So there's a head puppeteer and they're, they're control, controlling the, the, the head of the horse and they're, they're in charge of sort of what's the horse looking at and what it, what's, it, what's it thinking. Um, and then, and yeah, the heart is uh, obviously the front legs and the main sort of chest of the horse so instigates a lot of breathing and um, obviously the breathers are three but uh, the heart can see the most from the head bit here <clears throat> and feel the most from the hind so a bit of translator between the two if the hind wants to push you forward you can see the head isn't in a position that would look good with the horse walking forward you might hold off and then when the head's ready you then let the hind go so it's a bit of a yeah a bit of a translator between the hind and then the hind has the hind legs and the tail so you can see the most the head swishing around. Cool. So have you guys been involved in the show before the tour? No, oh, no. Wow. So we started in um, June, end of June, start of July last year, and then we had two weeks of like horse academy so oh, training, wow. so like puppetry school, and then uh, and then eight weeks of forecast horses. Wow. And how were the rehearsals for you? Was it quite an intense period? Because obviously you know you're acting, but you're also being a horse. Yeah. yeah. Which is it's weird, <laughs> uh, like dividing that time up. So you know, earlier in rehearsals, you wonder. I want to tell the story, I want to like do emotional stuff, but I can't move the legs yet. <laughs> and this horse just pathetically, you know, standing around in the rehearsal room. Um, it was great once, the two weeks were fantastic to get a head start and get more comfortable with the puppets. And when the cast come in, it gives you like a whole different level of impetus and things to play off. And like all of a sudden you've got actors doing stuff on the scene, you're like, oh, I can react to that. Um, eventually, it was um, Yeah, so it was very exciting. And it was, yeah, quite like big camp. Yes, yeah. tiring, tiring. The but first week, everyone's fat to shreds, and then when you're skinny, and then you're like, I need to eat these to try and maintain it. Yeah. Well, and do you have to kind of maintain like a training regime or anything? Because obviously, you know, it's a lot of physical strength. There is a lot of physical stuff. I mean, some people, um, some people deal with it in different ways. Some people are like going to the gym every day and all of that sort of thing. Not but you um, guys. but, but um, <laughs> not 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 so much. I mean, I think yeah, we've been we've been doing it for for, for a year now. Yeah. I think we've got we've, we've got to the level of being we we, yeah. we can we can do the show. Now. Yeah, um, was, yeah. As long as regardless of what you do outside, but as long as you don't do stuff that hinders your um, your physical progress, then uh, yeah, you're, you're you're show fit at this point. But yeah, some people early on may, were much more um, physically active than others and they were to maintain that because that, um, they like to be uh, uh, ahead of um, what the show requires, they like to be more than what the show requires. But yeah, so once the show's up and running, we can sort of just do the show and that's mm -hmm. how it's going And obviously, you know, it's an iconic show for people who might not have seen it, like, what would they kind of expect from it? Oh, I mean, they can. It, it's a show like no other, really. I mean, um, we've had people try and um, come in and say, "So, is it a musical? Is it is it is it sort of like a, a dance piece? Is it a puppetry show, or is it like a real nitty gritty play?" I mean, it, it's it's all of those things, really. I mean, yeah. we've got um, yeah, um, I think 20, 27, 29 puppets sort of in 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 the, in the show, and they range from the horses to small crows to swallows to a, a full size British tank. Um, there's a lot of songs. It's all sort of um, underscored by by fantastic music, um, and then we've got some like the, the story content itself. Yeah, I think people that either don't necessarily see a lot of theatre or wouldn't necessarily think that something to do that would be for them. But be amazed about how how stripped back it is for such a massive production. So many successful productions are so um, detailed and refined and complex. This is all those things, but not what you'd see from the front. It's very simple. It's very basic edit. It's, it leaves a lot for the audience to imagine. Obviously, because it's, people have to suspend disbelief because there are three people in control of the board. 
up on yeah. stage. But that type of ethos sort of goes throughout production. Um, so yeah, I, I know people that don't come to theatre and they come to theatre, so they yeah, they're amazing. It's just so unique. Cool. And obviously you guys are coming to Birmingham, and you've both got a Birmingham connection. Yes. Am I right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about that. So I, I was born in Birmingham, uh, and but moved away just before I turned five and grew up in Birmingham. Um, so my girlfriend always says I'm from Birmingham, but I always am from Birmingham because I love Birmingham. <laughs> and my family are from Birmingham, and would always go back there. And I went to drama school there at Birmingham School of Acting, which is now Conservatoire. Um, yeah, and I, I, I love going to Birmingham. I always go to Birmingham. And yeah, once uh, once we got the, the gig and I saw the tour schedule and I saw Birmingham as a TBC venue. And I was um, I was born in the Channel Islands, um, but then grew up um, from the age of four um, in Redditch, just south of Birmingham. So I've been around the, the Midlands and the, the, the Birmingham region for the rest of my life. So what are you going to do when you get to Birmingham? Have you got anything you need to? I think my parents need to do my washing. Okay, um, <laughs> that's cute. <laughs> um, but no, it'll just be Thanks. nice to experience the city from a different place. Yeah. I've never performed at the Hippodrome as well, um, so that'd be, that'd be lovely to go back to somewhere that, that I've been watching shows for the rest of I think there's a Riley's Pool the stage door as well, which I hope is still open. Uh, so that's going to be exciting. But yeah, there's the Arcadian right next to the Hippodrome. It's just, yeah, I can't wait. It's going to be so much work in the evening, but having the daytime is really so because the it's just daytime. Yeah. So, yeah, it's Oh, well, we Come can't home. wait to have you. Um, cool. Well, thank you so much for chatting to us. We can't wait to see you in Birmingham. So, have you seen the show before, Ben? Yes, I have. And where did you see it? Uh, I saw it at the National and in London and in Birmingham last night. Oh, at the Hippodrome. Yeah. Exciting. And how did it kind of compare from like the London show to the tour? I think it translated really well, actually. Really, really well. And especially in the Hippodrome, with the Hippodrome being nice and wide, it fits on the stage perfectly. So, yeah, can't wait to see it back in uh, Birmingham. Could we pass from this earth and its soiling Only remembered for what we have done So, we're just on the train back to Birmingham now. We've just seen the show and it was amazing. What did you think? Yeah, it was fantastic. It's so good. Um, it's literally everything you would have seen in London, mm -hmm. everything you would have seen at the National and more. It's a fantastic production, a great big cast, mm -hmm. um, a really talented cast. Uh, really yeah, emotional. Everyone loved it and it got mm -hmm. a standing ovation at the end. It was also super emotional and I wasn't quite sure how it's going to translate on a big stage, but it worked really well. Um, really powerful production. I think, you know, even if you're not super into theatre, this is a show for everyone. If you saw it last time around, there's just as much reason to come back and see it again. Totally. Um, yeah, it's just an amazing show. It's amazing, and definitely you want to take it off your list because it's one of the iconic productions. So moving, so beautiful, and a real treat. So it's on at Birmingham Hippodrome from the 10th of October to the 3rd of November, so make sure you get your tickets. They're going to be linked down below, and we'll see you all at the show.